The new Whitney Houston biopic is getting a ton of buzz ahead of its premiere on Lifetime this Saturday. That's right, and Suzanne Douglas plays Whitney's mother, Sissy, and she's here to give us an inside scoop on what we can expect. Welcome to Arise. Thank Great you for having you, me. Thank you. Happy New Year. Yes, Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. I know it's, we can still say that, right? Yeah, you can. Right? It's January. You, you can, exactly. <laughs> I'll still say it in December of this year. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're, still, we're very excited about tomorrow, the biopic. So am I. Yeah, and of course, you play Sissy, as yeah. Shannon. Yes, said. Yes. Uh, talk to us about how you researched uh, for this role. I know you didn't actually get to speak to Sissy yourself. We'll go into that a little later. But how did you prepare? You prepare for any role, the way I, for this role, like I would for any role. I read background information on the character, find out what makes her tick, who mm. is she innately. And then the best part about it is you take what the writer has written, and you yeah. take the essence of the actor that you're working with, and you stay present in the room, and you create something new, tell a new story from what you have right there at mm -hmm. that moment. Yeah. Well, the story that you are telling us, not Whitney's entire life, this is just a five-year period. What's so significant about that time? I think taking any iconic individual's life mm -hmm. and taking a slice of that life and examining it gives us an opportunity to get into the interior of that character, mm -hmm. to look at who that personality is a little bit more microscopically. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what are those five years that we'll be getting a glimpse of? We'll see her zenith. Mm -hmm. We'll see her at her zenith of her career as she's going into doing the bodyguard. And also we'll see Bobby, the love of her life. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, this other stellar star who was at the zenith of his career. Mm -hmm. And they're coming together. So it's really important. And Sissy Houston apparently was not a fan of Bobby, even from the very beginning. Can you tell us why, what you I don't know, about? because I'm not Sissy Houston. Yeah. But I just <laughs> but want, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's fascinating to me because uh, with any iconic individual, any personality that we all think we know, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, and, and people assume that they know you because they see us on the TV on a regular basis. I'm sure when people approach you, they approach you as if you're old friends, yeah. you know? <laughs> and, and we, we the, this lovely, these lovely instruments, these lenses that the world looks at us through allows them to get a, a deeper look at us. Yeah. And, and there's this sense of familiarity. We don't really know her, yeah. but yet we know her. Mm. I don't know Sissy. I would have loved to have met her. I would have loved to have met Whitney, but I know her through her music. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know Cece, Sissy, through her music. Mm -hmm. And you know, she was this giant of an artist before there was a Whitney Houston. You know, we, mm -hmm. we can't leave that out of the yeah. mix, who she well, was. But do we actually see these, you know, rumored feelings that she had for Bobby come out in the film? We see this, her dislike yeah. for him. Mm -hmm. And I think as a mother, no one, is good enough. I'd, are you a mother? No. Okay, I'm a mother. Not your yet. father. father yeah. Not yeah. that you know of. You're, you're, are you? Yeah, a father too. Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, too. So you know. Are, are there girls? Are there girls? Yes, you have two girls? girls. Right. Yes. There will. There, no no one's gonna be good enough. Absolutely. Yeah. So we connected in that sense. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I know her there as a mother, and I have an only child, and she's a daughter, mm -hmm. and Whitney was her baby, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So no one could ever be good enough. I don't think it just you know it, it didn't. Ha it could have been the King of Wales or the Prince of Wales. <laughs> yeah. Pardon me, and you know because she was quite special and unique, mm -hmm. and there'll she never be another was. person like her in the universe. Yeah. We're blessed to have had her here for the short period that Whitney was here. Yeah, definitely. But, you know. but I do think that Yaya da Costa does a great oh, job. Oh my gosh, she's absolutely amazing. Mm. Amazing. She I'm, looks so much like her too. Yes. You know, she she encompasses her essence. And I remember early on, you know, there's been, as you said, there's been so much controversy surrounding this film. Yes. Early on, people were like, "Well, she's Hispanic. She's an actress." Right. That's let's look at that. You know. Yeah. That's what non-traditional casting is about. Let's put the best actor in the role. Yeah. How about that for a thought? Oh, that's novel. Yeah. You know. I mean, that makes uh, sense come to on. me. Absolutely. And she's. Absolutely mesmerizing, and, and the work that Angela Bassett did, my girl, mm. Angela, directorial debut. Oh my yes. God! It's lovely having someone as intelligent and insightful as Angela yeah. to work with as a director. I've worked with her as, as an actor. We did How Stella Got Her Groove back together. Yes, mm -hmm. but of to work with her as my boss was really quite lovely. You know, I respect her immensely, so it was very easy to listen and grow mm -hmm. as an actor. 
through someone who's, oh, she's set where I sit. You know, she, she understands what the process is as an actor to get us where we need to go with very few words yeah. and in an intelligent, informed way. Definitely. That's rare. So many powerhouses are associated with the film, including Deborah Cox, who's oh, going to be doing all the vocal goodness. singing. She for sings! Who <laughs> was actually music. a friend of Whitney Houston's oh, as well. How right. lovely. And the timbre in her voice is quite remarkably close to that of Whitney's. You know, yeah. it's really lovely. Yeah. What was the energy I'm, like on set with all these people all together? So I mean, many it must have been amazing. People together right. on set. What was it you like? know, it was it, you know, that's such a lovely question to ask. There was a great sense of reverence on mm. the set. It, we felt as if we were honoring Whitney in that. And and yeah. I think Angela did a remarkable job also in casting. I think she knew to surround her 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 image, her presence, her music, her story with people who just loved what she represented and who she was. Yeah. It was a great set, a great set to work on. Yeah. I'm sure. Now, you mentioned the controversy that's been around this film. The family hasn't given the film the blessing. Can you give us some insight as to why? And, and what do you hope, if they watch this, what do you hope they get out of this? I, I don't, once again, I don't know what they're feeling. I can only imagine that if I had lost my child, yeah. that I would be mourning probably for the rest of my life yeah. Yeah. Uh, over that loss. I do understand that Dionne Warwick has seen the film and she enjoyed it quite a bit. That's great. Mm. So that's lovely. Um, it, it, I would love for Bobby Brown to see this film very much. And then I would love to have a dialogue with him about what he thought of the film. Uh, I, I think people will be pleasantly surprised and, and into finding about who they were and why they were meant for each other at that time and what they meant to one another. I didn't realize how much they loved each other. And I think the world judged him quite unfairly and judged these people that they had no idea who, once again, back to the people thinking they know who we are. Mm -hmm. We didn't know. I had no idea how much they loved and how heavily they loved. That's a lovely wow. thing to That's discover. Gonna be powerful I love that kind see. of discovery as yeah. an artist. Yeah. yeah. As well. well, we can already see the excitement just by looking at the trailer. And we can already tell that it's going to be great casting compared to that Leah biopic that was now on Lifetime. Yeah. Now, you, now can't you know there was compare. a lot of controversy. You really can't I, compare. We can't. Yeah. But a lot of people but were we're up arms like, about oh. the casting for the Leah biopic because they said these people do not look like any of the real characters that they're depicting. It looks like a little different for I, this movie. Well, I don't necessarily think you have to look like those individuals. I think it's important for us to embody a sense of essence and, and uh, of that individual's being. Because Fair. we can't, unless we sit and do, get prosthetics on and do all that, we can't look like them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was Fair the enough. acting as well that they found, wasn't it? it wasn't, I mean, well, it was I don't think you have day. to worry about yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to keep it zip. We'll judge for ourselves yeah. on Lifetime Saturday at 8 p.m., right? Yes. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here. Congratulations so on Thank the great you. work. Thank you very much. All right. We'll so be right back with more Thank Rise Entertainment back. 360.